Good evening from a very sticky, hot and humid London. Ugh. Summer's finally arrived and um, yeah, I won't complain about it because I know us Brits are very obs weather obsessed. We moan if it's too cold, we moan if it's too hot. Right now it's way too hot but I'm not, I'm just going to appreciate it. <clears throat> anyway, on to this review. Uh, this review is um, yet another request from NKOTBSB UK girl. As I said to you on Twitter, I'm becoming your perfume bitch. I'm not worthy. Whatever you say, I do. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not issue like this. Anyway, this one's for you, and thanks for the suggestion, because this one I've kind of been putting off, because I do find it kind of difficult to describe, but never mind. So, this is L by YSL. Um, I'm reviewing the Eau de Parfum version. It does come in Eau de Toilette as well. Uh, and there are actually kind of seven other variations or flankers of it which I sometimes find a bit ridiculous it's like why do you need to keep making so many different variations of one thing just so make something new spend that time doing something new but I guess I suppose if you've made something that's a hit why not try and appeal to that mass but I like new things all the time so that's probably why I said that so it's a floral woody musk um, it's 2007 that it came out and um, two people created this fragrance I can't remember their names now but that's not really important to me anyway. I just want to smell it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so as I said, it, it's an eau de parfum. This one is. This is actually, I got it in a swap. It's a lovely little bottle actually. It's, uh, there you go. If you can't see it already, obviously you can, but just to show you. It's a lovely kind of deep purple bottle. <coughs> Excuse me. Hay fever always gets me. Um, yeah, it's got a plastic lid and it's kind of gold and stuff and square and that's it. But I know there's kind of there's an intense version. I think there's a summer version. There's even a few versions that are I think the same fragrance just in different colour bottles. There's like an orangey one. I don't know too much about it. I just like this one, so I stick to the original. So the notes are the top notes are lemon, lychee, and peony. The lychee in some countries is called lychee, I don't know if you know it like that, but I know it as lychee. Um, the heart notes are freesia, rose, pink pepper and jasmine. And pink pepper is a really, really nice note. Um, I've smelled it in a few things before. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's not like black pepper at all. And then the, the base is kind of dark. It's got vetiver, patchouli, cedar and then ambrette which is ambrette is um a seed as far as i know and it's it's also known as musk mallow uh, it's used to kind of substitute natural animal musk and it's a kind of very sweet musky note um but i don't think this perfume's really sweet anyway it must just add to the kind of sexiness because it is sexy so what does it smell like it's been drying here as always and i'll spray it here it's it's quite strong when you first spray it, but I mean, most fragrances are really, aren't they? The real true character comes out when you've let them develop for a while. Um, so, what I'll, I'll always kind of try and say what I describe the overall smell or feel of this, <clears throat> and what I wrote down, because I've been writing stuff down for a little while, is that it feels, to me, more fruity than it is floral. Um, even though it's only got two fruits in it, um, it does. It feels like black currants to me. It feels like a kind of modern twist on a glamorous floral black currant blackberry smell. And it does to me. And this is not the power of suggestion. It does kind of conjure up the image of this colour. It's almost like dark berries, but there's a bit of feminine girliness in it. Um, not girliness, I should say womanliness, because it isn't in any way girly, it is more modern, kind of, I would say, tw the older woman glamorous, not classic glamorous, you know, like Chanel Number no. 5, or some really, you know, really beautiful Guerlain fragrances, or Guerlain fragrances, this feels glamorous and sexy and nighttime. But it's more, it's very modern smelling. Um, I think that's what they were going for, and I think they've done it really well with this. Um, it is. 
as I said, mainly black currant tea, but it's floral black currant tea. It's, peony is a really, really kind of gorgeous, I'm losing my words today, it's a very complex, kind of almost sweet, fluffy, fizzy flower. And this has a slight effervescentness, I use that word a lot, but some fragrances do have that. When you smell it up close, it has a slight fizziness and a slight spice, which comes from the pink pepper. Um, it's I would I would call it high pitched, and when I say high pitched, I mean something that is kind of veering towards the sharp side as opposed to soft. It's definitely more sharp than it is soft, uh, and it's as I said, it's very modern and feminine and kind of nighttime scent. <clears throat> this isn't an everyday thing. It's not fresh and fun. This is definitely more let's get dressed up and go out kind of fragrance. Um, and yeah that's 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 the stuff i wrote down um, i want to talk about the patchouli in it because it feels like it's veering towards a fruit chuli fragrance it's i've got midnight poison by christian dior and this does no matter how much people might disagree it does remind me of that that is a very kind of dark rose patchouli fragrance and so is this but this is veering towards more feminine where i think midnight po poison if you ever smelt it veers to the masculine side so I, I really like it it's really strong um on me it doesn't really develop so much over time it doesn't really completely change its tune it pretty much stays the same apart from it does get that kind of slightly more patchouli vibe to it, but the patchouli in this isn't earthy and dark and dark and darkened, dark and masculine. The patchouli in it is kept at the right level where it's it's still kept very not subtle but not heavy if that makes sense although the overall fragrance is heavy the patchouli itself isn't something that completely takes over like it does in say something like angel by terry mugler um so yeah that's it really it's my friend wears this and she got in i got in her car one day and i immediately just you know i thought wow that's that's really really nice it's it's i would say it's probably a head turner because it's not something that's really that usual um I just think it definitely goes on the modern, glamorous side. And the florals, as I said, they're high pitched and veering over to sharp, but not in an unpleasant way. When I think of something like J'adore by Christian Dior, I don't like to reference other things, but sometimes I just have to. If you smell that, that to me is quite a screechy, high pitched floral, and this is just kept kind of towards the darker and earthy side because you've got vetiver and patchouli and woods in the base so it's just kept very modern glamorous and lovely and I really really like it um, and because it's loaded puff arm um, this one does last on me quite a while I'd probably say if I wore it out for an evening like eight I would still be able to smell it when I got home I wouldn't say it's you know monster 24 hour longevity it's got a moderate sillage as well so it does go out quite far um, but yeah I would definitely give this a 7 out of 10 because I think it's something really interesting and if you haven't smelt Midnight Poison and, and you have smelt this try that because it's I would say it's kind of like a different take they are kind of sisters in a way so yeah that's my review of L by YSL um, I'm just about to review Prada Candy as well tonight I'm going to do it I always say that and then I just don't end up doing it but I'm going to do it I'm sitting here I'm just going to do it right now somebody asked me to do it a long time ago and I didn't because I didn't have it but now I have a sample so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in a minute